Hello, welcome back to the Banana Empire in Road to 56. So we have just taken Ecuador from our... Or rather, we've taken our holdings in Ecuador back from them. The question now is, where next? Nothing here I particularly want. And the, and the Yanks will probably get involved if I do anything. Well, I'm starting to think that little coup d'etat in Colombia might be useful. Let's see, have I anyone to spare? This would be it would be risky though, so we'll see how this works. Okay. Damn it, wrong thing. Requires a lot of infantry equipment and it's risky. Hmm. Let's see, anything else I can do here? Always prepare a collaboration go on them. On the naval side of things, I need to actually open some of these. So I'm starting to think that maybe we should push into Peru. Really. Yeah, Paraguay. Possibly down to the Dominican Republic. We afford to plant in planes there. Be nuts. So I were to save up some air XP and some extra range. Extra range now, anyway. Mm -hmm. If I do fight into Peru, it's going to be a lot of mountainous single terrain. Ain't nothing we had before, but. Well, then something I probably not have to deal with. I'll take some of these off and put them on convoy S. Ah, that reminds me, I probably need the forest to have some proper radar. I need to research them. Um, Other things as well. What's this? Sonar. That's dirt funny. Uh, well, I'm at, I mean, I'll use up some of these research bonuses. Let's give this a try and see how it works. Can we do here? So my huh? oh, I've just started building flame tanks. Like these are the cheapest, crappiest ones I can get away with. They don't need to be good. They just need to be good enough. That's what to add on here. See that provides some extra breakthrough and attack to my marines. Of course, I do need about 60 of them. Fortunately, we have about 40 um, French FT tanks that we can use. Start that. 
Okay, so in less than two weeks, our coup of um, Columbia shall take place. I'm not sure how this is going to work out. As before, we'll see. Kind of a waste changing the changing these over. Oh well, not like it's gonna make too much difference. Well, I've set this coop here in La Libertad because that has a Porsche. Might want to send the um, naval security forces to lend some extra support. That's one of the reasons I want flame tanks. Ooh. I think. Republic of Colombia versus Republic of Colombia. Send these guys any center, but we can't. Now we just watch. Interesting to see how this happens. Okay, we're going to send one. No. In that case, can I send them any... Send them air volunteers. Let's give them some a little bit of a some air experience and some air cover. Mm, they have quite a lot of attrition as well. Improved small arm structures to make them cheaper. Ooh, we're losing planes up here. Our air defense is lower. Look at that.
some self sealing fuel tanks and possibly some armor plate. Does reduce our range a bit. Oh, it's a bit heavy. So change down to two heavy machine guns and. And because it's a conversion, we just we can actually get them out quicker. So we're faster and here and we can dodge better than they can, but they can just get past us. They can throw up more damage than we can. Right. Now that you could do it here. Hmm, factory output or fuel consumption or like a factory output might be more appropriate for a mega corporation. Oh, it looks like they actually took that very quickly. That we have military access, we can build railways into their territory. This makes things so much easier. I mean, since I have a lot of industrial capacity doing nothing, I might just ask other countries if I can do that for them. You know, help them build up some industrial capacity. Not quite because or quite do up here. Oh, I see soon. Now we're starting to trade. I'm just, I these guys. I come out. Go field commanders. Now, figure out what the Peruvians are up to. Much. Hmm. 
can create the Asian section. I'm not sure why we would need to create one. But Always a good idea to keep an eye on apps on what's going on inside this, I guess. Hmm. Starting to run out of things to do in this in this gameplay. Because there's not really much I particularly want to take over the world. More that I know it's not gonna work out too well. This will be a heavy cruiser, so that I can provide some long, some shore bombardment. And I think I'll do no, no. Four. Some of them might be used for convoy raiding later. Kill them first and then sort them out. Invasion of um, Cuba. Just in case. Not wage laws. What sort of nonsense is this? That's an inacceptable loss of corporate profit. Let's see. Motive and train manufacturer. Let me go with vertical integration because re resource need isn't too bad. Oh, actually, I've got set up quite a way to go, so the extra funds game would be really helpful. It means they'll get, it means they'll get, they'll bump up by quite a bit more. It means reliability and doesn't really matter too much. Expect much out of it, but I know how to persuade people of our point of view. See the Oops, not. Like I said, I'm starting to run out of ideas to do here. I'll see, this isn't too bad, bad for considering that I hate this. I do not like bananas. So you can only is to have better range. Yes, and reliability doesn't mean much to these things. That's not really expected. Yeah. Germany declared war on their uh, on them, and ooh, looks like the Allies are pushing into into Italy further. Yeah, so I'm starting to think that saying uh, that war was the best idea I could have, best move I could have made. Oh, 
Cooper in the East. We've... Brand has actually done surprisingly well. Though the Soviets have started pushing them back. Stalin. Commonwealth of Australia owns Greenland. Wonder who we can sell to next. Ooh, go after blue. I really gain by going after today. Loss of oil, possibly. But I also get, I also have enough of that myself in Ecuador and Panama. Ooh, that's unexpected. Germans took Northern Ireland. Brits have taken back Belfast. And I bet the Irish are not very happy at either side. Oh, this war looks like they could go either way, to be honest. Where's it going? So, American Italian war. More in favor of the aggressors. Like I said, I'm not ready to get involved, but it's no problem. You can see we are exporting to a few places. Hmm. Going to Germany. Exporting to the legionary sergeant of Bulgaria and the king of Italy. Exporting to the USA, and Peru, Peru, Colombia, well, our Colombia, you see Cuba. Yes, I'm not really sure that um, this is really worth to me getting involved in. Let's sell off a few companies. Something else. Yes, perhaps. I mean, oh, we eat the good boys. So, as it stands, the banana is a good size. Do like this. Basically, I do not want to go to war with the United States. It just isn't worth it. Now, I could go for Venezuela. Uh, Thing by doing that. Well. I suppose I could look at that. That I've been at, I've been at this for for about hour total, so I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave it there for this episode, and I think it'd be worth me going after somewhere else. Leave a comment. Leave a comment on the. I'll just leave a comment, and I'll. That's gonna be it. Bye for now.